Welcome, my friend, sending you a warm smile and a loving hug as you make your way to the mat today. No props are needed for our practice. We'll be sprinkling in moments of gratitude throughout. I hope this practice leaves you feeling nourished and whole. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll move into the yin asana butterfly. So bring your soles of feet to kiss, making a soft diamond shape with your legs. Slowly begin to fold forward at your hips until you feel your edge. That first moment of sensation rather than moving deeply into the pose. Now we'll be holding this for a few minutes. So finding that first moment of sensation and holding it there will allow your body to stay in this asana without fidgeting and allow your body to release over the long hold. We'll begin sprinkling in that moment of gratitude to begin our practice. So if it's accessible in your body, bring your palms to kiss and nestle them between your soles of feet. So your feet will open a little like a book, just enough for prayer to rest in between. Now invite your muscles to relax. Invite your head to weigh heavy, your neck to soften, your back to round out, legs relaxed and releasing into the pose. The more relaxation you attain and the longer you hold this pose, the more benefits to your joints, your fascia, ligaments and tendons. Now as you hold, taking that moment of gratitude by thanking yourself for this time you have carved out to take care of you, for this moment of stillness, moment of peace with your body and mind at ease. Keeping your upper body weighing heavy just as it is. Bring your fingertips to the mat. Press down into your fingertips and allow this action to super slowly roll yourself up. Eyes closed, attention remaining inward. Feeling into your body. And once you're up, slowly and in your own time, flow through a few cat cows with your spine keeping your legs in butterfly. Just feeling it out. 
inviting a counter stretch for your spine feeling free to veer off from your typical cat cow shape just find what feels good my friend We'll find stillness. Bring hands to your legs to assist and bring your knees up to center. We're moving into an easy boat pose. So bring hands to grasp along the back side of your thighs. And one at a time, lift your shins so they are parallel with the sky. Find that beautiful long spine of yours. Crown of head lengthening up. Lower belly firming up and in. If you'd like, slowly begin to alternate tapping the toes of one foot to the mat and then the other. Maintaining length in your spine as you tap side to side, heart center shining bright. Lovingly challenge yourself to keep that still shin that is lifted parallel with the sky lifted and not not lowering dipping towards the earth runs parallel let's find your boat pose with both shins lifted and this time if you'd like fully extend one leg out long hovering it off the earth just above breathing as you hold it here for five four three two one draw it in returning to boat long spine big breath in and exhale extend the opposite leg out long hovering it over the earth breathing as you hold and we're holding it for five four three two and one bend back into that knee returning to boat and then bring soles of feet to kiss, returning to butterfly. This time we are going to take a, a balance in our butterfly. So grasp wherever is accessible, your shins, ankles, or your feet. And with a long spine, begin to recline your spine back, shifting your weight and lifting your feet, finding your balance. Knees energetically press away, shoulder blades glide down your back, broad across your chest, that heart center reaching forward. Feel your long spine, breathing as you feel all those little micro movements happening to support you in this balance. This one is nice because the ground is very close to catch you if you fall out. Just feel and find your center. With control, we'll lower to the mat to make your way in your own time to a downward facing dog. In your down dog, just take some time to connect with your body here and pedal your feet out. Find stillness. On your next inhalation, extend your right toes high to the sky. And then we'll bend your top knee, stacking your hips. Knee reaches up to the sky. Your foot is flexed, pressing away. Now slowly re-extend your leg long, but keep your hips so they are stacked. Toes pointing up. Good. Bend back into your knee. Knee lifted, foot flex pressing away, and then slowly re extend your leg long, keeping hips stacked, toe lengthen. Bend back into your knee one last time. From here, we're going to come into our pigeon pose. So draw your knee through near to your right thumb and lower your shin to the mat. We'll slowly walk your palms forward, lowering to your forearms or all the way to the mat. 
Let's sprinkle in some gratitude by bringing your palms to kiss. You may wish to hold this in stillness or invite in a gentle, slow sway side to side, further nourishing those hips. Taking a moment of gratitude, appreciating your body and calling to mind the beautiful parts of your being. slowly walk your palms back, tuck your back toes and re-extend your right toes to the sky. On your next exhalation, we'll step your right foot to the outside of your right hand for lizard pose. Ensure that your front knee is in line with your ankle, not going past. Now with your back foot, begin to rock front to back, getting into your toes, into your calves, a nice feel-good stretch there. Just taking it front to back. Find stillness. And we'll lower your back knee to the mat. Your top of foot releasing to the mat. Fingertips to the mat as you lift your heart and melt your hips forward and down into the pose. If you'd like, you can explore opening your Front toes off to the mat, fanning your knee and foot open to the right side, coming to the outside edge of that front foot. Holding in stillness or finding movement if it calls to your body. And this is your practice. Let that body guide you in what it needs. stillness, tuck your back toes and press up. If your knee was fanned open, you're going to return your solo foot to the mat. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll step your back foot forward to the outside of your left hand coming into a forward fold. Hold your forward fold however is calling to your body, holding in a way that supports you releasing and letting go. Let's bend into both your knees, ground down the soles of your feet, just slowly roll up, breathing in, circling fingertips up to the sky at the top, and on the exhale, slowly begin to cactus your arms, drawing your elbows back one at a time, alternating, drawing them back as you slowly lower them down. Enjoy that feel good opening across your chest. Let's breathe in, circling them right back up. Palms kiss, reach back before you dive it down through center. Hands frame feet and step back to plank pose. Take a feel good flow of your body's choice and I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Let's take that sequence over to the second side. So on your next inhalation, extend your left toes high to the sky. Bend your knees, stacking your hips. Lift your knee to the sky. Foot is flexed, your sole foot pressing away. Weight evenly distributed across your palms. Shoulders square. Now slowly extend your leg long, keeping your hips stacked. And then bend back into your knee. As you do, this is all a very intentional movement. Knee lifts, foot flex, pressing away. 
Slowly re-extend your legs, slow and intentional, keeping hips stacked. And then slowly bend back into your knee, last time. Pigeon pose on the second side, so draw your knee through, lowering your knee near your left thumb, shin lowers to the mat. Once you have yourself positioned, silly walk your palms forward, lowering to your forearms or all the way to the mat. Bringing in that gratitude by bringing your palms to kiss. You may wish to hold in stillness or invite in a gentle, slow sway side to side, further nourishing those hips. Just listen to your body and what it needs. We're taking a moment of gratitude appreciating your emotional well-being, the emotions you are able to feel and express, all of them. They all serve a purpose. We'll slowly walk your palms back, tuck your back toes, and re-extend your left toes to the sky. On your next exhalation, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand coming into lizard. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle, not going past. And begin to rock front to back, stretching into your toes, stretching into your calf. Feeling it out. Find stillness. Lower back knee to the mat. Top of foot releases to the mat. With fingertips to the mat, <laughs> go to lift your heart and melt your hips forward and down into the pose. Remember, you can explore opening your front toes off the mat and fanning your knee and your foot open to the left side, coming to the outside edge of that front foot, only if it's calling to your body, though. Wherever you find yourself, you can hold in stillness or invite movement in if it's calling to your body. stillness. Return your solo foot of the mat if it was spanned open. Tuck your back toes and press up. We'll step your back foot forward to the outside of your right hand. This time we're going to move into Malasana, so widen your stance if needed. Bring your toes to point out and heels in, and when you're ready, slowly, slowly lower your hips through center as you lift your heart, coming into your yogic squat. Bring your palms to fuse together at heart center. Elbows to the inside of your thighs, gently pressing your knees open a little wider. Lengthening tailbone towards the earth as you reach up through the crown of your head. Broad across your chest. And with those palms kissing, I invite you to take another moment of gratitude. This time expressing gratitude for whatever comes to your mind. We'll slowly bring one hand in front of you, the other behind, to lower yourself to the mat with control. 
and then lower yourself back all the way to the mat. Drawing knees into your chest. We're moving into happy baby, so open your knees wide to thread your hands through to clasp the outside edge of your feet. Flex your feet and lift soles of feet towards the sky. Draw your knees down alongside your body. Hands draw your knees down as your feet press into your hands, so they're going in two opposing directions. Now feel free to rock side to side. Maybe even seeing how it feels to start to strain one leg and then the other as you rock. Only if it's calling to your body, holding in stillness is perfect too. stillness. Release and hug your knees into your chest. We'll take a gentle rock side to side for a minute, nourishing your hips, breathing, nourishing your being. Settle into stillness and extend one leg out long and then the other for Shavasana. Arms laying at your side however they may. Allow your body to completely relax. All your muscles soften and weigh heavy. Feel the bones of your body melting into the earth beneath you. Just be here. With the goodness of this practice you just nourished your body with, allow it to settle into your being, body, mind, and spirit. to bring awareness back to your body. Wiggling your fingers and toes, full body stretch if you'd like, whatever's calling to you. And then in your own time, go ahead and roll over to the right side. I'm gonna take a full deep breath in through your nose. And a long, slow, complete releasing exhalation out your mouth. With attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Find your long spine. Bring those palms to kiss, prayer at heart center. Our final moment of gratitude together on the mat today. Take a moment of gratitude for the work you do, the time you carve out for your self-care for what you have achieved on your self-care journey. Let's breathe in to raise prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward, sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. I help your hips and your heart feel nourished. To keep these feelings of gratitude flowing, I would love to hear from you in the comments, maybe sharing one of the things that came to mind that you are grateful for. I am thankful, grateful for each and every one of you. So grateful to be on this journey with you. So grateful that you trust me with your being. Sending you so much love and so much light.